how do you sell a house before it goes on the market? Let's not ignore the fact that it's an extremely hot market and it's a low inventory market. So those factors right there help you. Buyers are, and buyers agents even more so, are searching high and low to show their buyers something. However, I take a lot of pride in my new construction homes, advertising them from the day we break ground. Postcards, social media, videos, and letting the local neighborhood know this house is coming for sale a year in advance, more often than not, that helps sell this home before it hits the market. I met with a couple, you know, I got referred to them by a friend. They just wanted to have the initial kind of meet and greet, talk about the process, talk about and all that kind of stuff that we have in the initial conversation. And then of course it's like, you know, when are you looking to make the move? And they're like, what are, what's your experience with how long someone like us takes to find something? And I said, well, you know, it's about a three month process on average. I would say some people, there's a chunk of people that take four, five, six months from when we had this kind of initial conversation, a year even. And I kind of made a joke. I was like, you guys are probably gonna find something on the first day out or you're not gonna find anything for six to eight months. Well, wouldn't you know it, like we literally go and see four properties and they buy one of them. <laughs> we're kind of off to a really strong start. And this is not to you know, toot my own horn, but I think it's a clear signal that the market's still going strong. And so we've had a couple closings that kind of were put together into last year, ended up closing this month. And then we had a couple buyers that I feel took advantage of the holiday and the COVID cloud. And so, there wasn't quite as much activity and we put three deals into escrow last week alone. So, you know, I'm only one agent in a very large market and highly competitive market. But to me, that's an indication of things are still going very strong in 2022. If you are in a position where you're not even in the game by even like making an offer, then you're doing something wrong because you should at least be able to throw your hat in the ring on 90% of the homes for sale in your price category. The problem is there's not a lot of homes for sale in most price categories. And then when the homes are for sale, they got a ton of bids on them, right? So where you kind of separate yourself from other agents or working with a more experienced agent, I would say is that relationship that your agent as, your, as the buyer do they have any kind of relationship with these listing agents that you're coming across? There's a lot that comes with using somebody that knows their way around just agent protocols and negotiation with the other agent. Using Zillow as a guide, basically think that you can do just as good of a job as a buyer's agent. You don't get all the information. First of all, you get too much general information, you know, Zestimate, current price, old price. What does all that mean? And how accurate is it? It's more like it helps you compare to the house very next door, but in our area, every house is different. There's this time period between when it was available for sale and before it closes, you're in escrow. Well, what's it in escrow at? Zillow doesn't know that. And that's gonna be the next comp. In a quick paced, highly competitive seller's market, you need to know that information. We're gonna know what it's sold for, we're gonna know what it's gonna close at, and you can update your knowledge and opinion of value of the next house that's just like that. Why are California home prices continuing to go up and up and up? The answer in my mind is two things. One is there's still just a lot of demand. Even with the reports saying that the population is declining slightly in California, you hear all about companies moving away. There's still a housing crisis, believe it or not. So there's still not quote unquote enough houses for everybody to buy. So that creates demand. That's one reason. Two, interest rates are low and that has driven the prices on its own level. Uh, and so when money's cheap, 
people are willing to spend more and that is a direct correlation to why home prices have gone up. I'm getting this question a lot, especially lately, and there are a couple reasons for it. One is they're selling before they hit the market. Uh, two, the developers are getting priced out of the market. The direct consumer basically realized, look, if I want what I really want and I'm willing to decide to build the house myself, hire a contractor, designer, and so forth, I can buy the, the land and then hire that team to build the house and not have to wait for a developer to create the product. They are able to spend more on the land, which therefore raises land values so that it kind of squeezes the developer into making these properties less attractive from a financial perspective.